Hey, what's up guys? So today we're going to do a uh, very short and simple tutorial for player damage and um, what we need. So it's got the player damage will be the script. We need an int for the player health. We need to uh, detect the collision. So when the enemy smashes into us, we need to um, know how that happens somehow. Uh, we need an int for the damage value and we need a tag for the enemy so that we know when the enemy touches us and a script we need to click and drag it onto the hero and then play test and enjoy so um, let's just uh, do it real quick for a start C sharp script um, I'll name it damage player and double click on that and get rid of this mess real quick and you can go into the settings and fix it so you have to do, delete that every time, but uh, I'm not doing that right now. So public int, um, <clears throat> excuse me, damage player, and also int uh, damage. And for testing purposes, we'll just do um, a start, a real quick check on our start function. And um, why is oh okay? And we can't have this. See, we got a little squiggle in here. That's because it's the same name as the class, so that's a no-no. Um, damage, uh, or sorry, that's um, player health, and then damage from the enemy. And the start, we'll just check to see to make sure it's working. Uh, it'll be player health, and I like to do this just to make sure. Uh, well, to see what's going on in the code, and we'll give ourselves thirty for right now. And we'll say damage is 10. So we got start, int, um, print, player health. So on our console, we'll see 30 should pop up if we did everything right. And void, and we'll use on collision enter, which will check if the enemy uh, touched us. And collision. and we'll call it collision and then we'll just go easy if statement if underscore collision dot game object dot tag is equal to uh, enemy dong uh, do something print uh, enemy dong just touched something weird oh no and um, let's check for errors head back to unity check for errors unity's updating looks like it's all good for oh, what was that that's fine we'll fix that in a second so before we forget damage player click and drag that onto our FPS controller check this on there and I don't know what that is um, so we got our damage player, our player health is 30, and our damage is 10. So let's just check, do a quick run, a test, to see if it's, the collision is working. Enemy Dong just touched something weird. Oh no! So we know it works. We know the, the, the collision has worked. Because, how? Because, look. And there's our 30 to verify that our player health was 30. And that's just for testing. You can leave it or delete it, whatever. So what do we want to do? Well, we want to deliver, we want to give 10 health damage to our ourselves for being touched by that weird enemy dong. So you just go um, pretty easy. Uh, your player health minus equals damage. And then uh, to make sure what's going on down here, plus um, player health to see what our health is at. So what should happen when we get smashed by enemy dong, player health minus damage, which are damage is 10, and then it should just say uh, report on the console with our player health. So let's see what happens. Updating is fun. And run it. See what happens. 30. Enemy dong. Oh no, it's 20, 10, 0. We, we just died at 0. That's it. So we know it's working pretty good. Unfortunately, the game still continues and the enemy dong is still touching everybody. 
and well, see, there you go, minus 20 now, and it goes and it goes and goes, and he fell over, but he's got up, he got up, dang, so it works, and uh, that's it, pretty short and sweet, easy, and guys, um, first, thanks for watching, I appreciate it, we're up to like 238 subscribers now, which is pretty crazy, uh, I appreciate it. All of you watching, having fun, hopefully, and learning something. Try to keep the tutorials short and sweet and um, easy so you can get on uh, having fun making your game. And also, uh, I do enjoy making these. And I learn a lot from doing them myself, which is one reason why I do them. Uh, and to also improve my teaching skills. But also, there's a link, it's a Amazon affiliate link, I know, I know, but um, it goes to a C-sharp book on Amazon, of course, uh, you can look at it or whatever, and it would probably teach you much better than I can, but also, if you purchase something, it doesn't have to be the book, but if you purchase something through Amazon, I get a little tip jar, a little tip from it or something, um, which is appreciated, but if not, that's cool too, I still hope you enjoyed something, had a little bit of fun along the way. And if you have uh, any questions, need any help, um, or suggestions to improve the videos, I'm, uh, I'm more than happy to listen, and I uh, would love to hear from you. And I try to answer all the comments. I don't log into YouTube every day. It's usually maybe every week or every couple weeks or something. Hopefully a little bit more, uh, at least weekly coming up. Uh, so anyways, enough of me rambling. I hope you enjoyed it. And any questions or suggestions, uh, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching. See ya.